a radical scheme that could one day see pine martins and red squirrels once more roaming the countryside is being spearheaded by the Kent Wildlife Trust, which says it's so concerned about what it describes as devastating wildlife declines in recent decades, it wants to rewild large parts of the county. Yes, it is a controversial idea, though. It would see the landscape managed naturally by species such as beaver and water voles, and even big animals like bison could be used for grazing. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin explains. It's a sobering campaign video. Wind in the willows revamped with a devastating ending. The scoundrels! A famous voice delivers a stark message. Since we first met Badger and friends, the UK has become one of the most nature depleted places on the planet. The nation's wildlife trusts, with Kent at the forefront, are calling for a wilder future and the recovery of nature. Here at Hamfen Nature Reserve in East Kent, there's a prime example of the things they want to come. Beaver have been busy turning back the clock, recreating a watery landscape and habitat for many other creatures that was lost long ago. This demonstrates just how far you can go with the right management and the right management tools and with the amount of effort and, and investment you can put into transforming a site like this from something that was very nature depleted to something that actually now is, is a real biodiversity hotspot for us. The Trust wants to reintroduce native species that have disappeared from the county chuffs and pine martins, red squirrels may follow. Today, Wildlife Trust representatives from across southern England came to see Kent's example. It's controversial, but as species are reintroduced, they say, others under threat will also be helped, like the turtle dove and water vole. Rewilding is an opportunity at all sorts of different scales, from rewilding your garden to rewilding a whole estate or entire farmland. There's a role for those concepts of bringing in natural processes all over the place, and that's exciting. For Kent Wildlife Trust, there's a sense of urgency for action. It's quite a big change, isn't it? It's a big change, but do you know what? I've been doing this 20 odd years, and in that time I've monitored declines in so many things. And when you've given your life to that, and you're still seeing things go down, something different has to happen and if this is one way of doing that then yeah it's exciting but it's needed. So it's not just a case of stemming the tide of decline, the Trust wants to push it back. Uh, well let's uh, cross over to Yvette who's at a nature reserve in Seven Oaks for us now and Yvette they're calling it Wilder Kent. Well, yes, and this is one of the Trust's flagship reserves. In total, it manages 9,000 acres across the county. And what it's done today is hugely significant. It's effectively rewritten its conservation approach before. It was all down to looking after wildlife, protecting habitats. But now it's all about bringing it back. But it doesn't happen overnight. But the Trust hopes that within two years, we could see a really sort of forceful way of bringing back those pine martins and those chuffs to parts of Kent. And I have to say, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of reaction the rest of the county will have. Indeed. Yvette, thank you. Who doesn't want to see more chuffs in we Kent? We definitely want more of those. Absolutely. <laughs>